So, today we are going to discuss the grade 7, quarter 1, module 4 or week 4. For music, let's have a review of our lessons in Hornbostel Sachs classification of musical instruments. Again, Hornbostel Sachs is a system of musical instruments classification devised by Eric Moritz von Hornbostel and Kurt Sachs. We have five musical instruments classification in Hornbostel Sachs. Number one is aerophone, wherein the musical instruments can produce sounds by means of blowing. Example is trumpet. Chordophones are those instruments with strings and it can produce sounds by means of plucking, strumming, and using a bow. Examples are guitar. Idiophones are instruments that can produce sounds by means of heating, shaking, or rubbing. Examples are talungating and cymbals. Membranophone can produce sounds by means of tapping with hands or sticks. These are instruments with a membrane like snare drum. And the last one is electrophone that can produce sounds which are generated by electricity. Examples are electronic keyboard or electronic guitar. For your music activity, you are going to make your own DIY shaker or drum instruments. The materials are listed above on your module. So, pili na lang kayo kung ang gagawin nyo ay shakers or drums. So, after you have done doing your shaker or your drum instruments, you are going to sing the song Bahay Kubo with the use of your shakers or drums as your accompaniment and make a video of it. After mong ma-record yung pagkanta mo at pagtugtog, you are going to upload your video on our FB group. Hanapin nyo lang doon kung nasaan yung music activity week 4. And then, you are going to answer the guide questions while doing your sound exploration. Letter A, what have you noticed about the sound produced while shaking improvised shakers? Which improvised shakers or drums instruments produce thick and thin sound? Why? Let us see what is your usual expression while singing and playing the shakers or drums. Again, you are going to upload your answer on our FB group, Music Week 4. For our online activity and quiz, ready your ball pen or pencil as well as your paper to write your answer. You are going to write if the instruments that I will show you is classified as aerophone, cordophone, membranophone, idiophone, or electrophone. Okay, ready na? Number one, Trumpet. Write your answer on your paper. Number two, the bakan. Number three, electronic guitar and keyboard. Number four, Anklung. Again, write your answer on your paper. Number five, conga drums. Six, viola. Seven, symbols. Eight, French horn. Nine, gandigan gongs.
And number 10, harp. Write your answer on your papers and we are going to check that after the lessons. For our next online activity or quiz, again, write your answer on your module or on your paper. So, you are going to write the classification of instruments based on the source of the sound production. Write your answer in the box provided on your module or your extra paper. So, ano yung sagot na ilalagay? Aeropone, cordophone, membranophone, idiophone, or electrophone. Okay, so ready? Letter A, cello. Write your answer on your module or your paper. Letter B, acoustic guitar. Letter C, clarinet. Letter D, Tuba. Letter E, timpani or kettle drums. Letter F, double bass. Letter G, oboe. And letter H, harp. So, we are going to answer or check your answer later after the discussions. For arts, we are going to discuss the arts and crafts of Cagayan Valley, specifically in Batanes and Isabela. Cagayan was derived from the word tagay, a kind of plant, thus katagayan, which means a place where the tagay grows abundantly. It was shortened later to Cagayan. While in etymological scholars hold that Cagayan from an ancient word that means river. Cagayan was one of the early provinces that existed during the Spanish colonial period, which is called La Provincia de Cagayan. As you can see on the picture, this is the Cagayan River the longest and largest river in the Philippines. The Ibatans are the people living in the Batanes group of islands. Their houses have unique architectural forms made up of limestone walls, reed, and cogon roofs, as you can see on the picture. The designs and materials are chosen because they are strong enough to withstand the numerous typhoons and earthquakes that hit the group of islands because of its geographic location. Bakul is a headgear used by the Ibatan women to protect them from the heat of the sun and the rains. The men, on the other hand, wear soot, a rain cape made from fronds that cover the upper part of the body down from the neck. This special clothing is made up of woven fibers of the buyaboy palm, a plant similar to coconut. Sa kasulok-sulukang bahagi ng Pilipinas, matatagpuan ang isla ng Batanes. Madalas pagyuhin dahil na palilibutan ng karagatang Pasipiko at West Philippine Sea. Pero handa raw ang mga ibatan sa anumang unos ang kanilang panangga ang mga bahay na bato. Gawa ang pader sa malalaking bato at corals na makikita sa dalampasigan habang ang bubong gawa sa kogon grass na may kapal na halos isang metro. Ang ganda ng bahay na to, yung itong stone houses na to, adaptable din po ito ng ano, yung panahon, yung lamig. Kapag panahon ng tag-araw, malamig po siya sa loob. At panahon ng taglamig, warmer po siya sa loob, mainit po. Sa Basco, matatagpuan ang pinakamatandang stone sa Batanes, ang House of Dakay. Tinayo ng 1887 at isa sa limang stone house na nakaligtas sa malakas na lindol na tumama sa isla noong 1918. Isabela is one of the largest provinces in the Philippines. It is located in the Cagayan Valley region. 
Isabella is a host to a number of historic sites, which highlight the rich cultural heritage of the Isabelinos, the people living in Isabella. Tumawini Church is a Roman Catholic parish church of San Matias Apostol. This Baroque church was built in 1873 and can be found in the municipality of Tumawini, Isabella. As you can see on the picture, the church was made from red bricks. It is also ornamented with carvings of flowers, leaves, scallops, saints, religious symbols, and other fanciful motifs. The unique cylindrical bell fry of the church looks like a huge wedding cake because of its design motifs like laces, hearts, and beads. For your arts activity, you are going to make a paper beads accessories. The materials needed and the step-by-step -step procedures were already written on your module. So, ganito yung makikita kong final product. Ayan. Dito sa inyong paper beads accessories, naglagay na rin ako dito ng mga sample patterns na pwede nyo gamitin para sa inyong paper beads accessories. Nandi dito na rin yung mga pictures kada steps. So, dun sa varnish, kung wala kayong varnish, pwede kayong gumamit kung meron kayong transparent or glittered nail polish para medyo kumintab yung inyong beads. Again, after nyo gumawa nito, i-upload nyo ang finished product while holding your artwork on our Facebook group Art Week 4. Do not forget to document by picture or video the step-by-step -step procedures of your artwork. Answer the check your understanding in arts after you are done making your paper beads accessories. You can write your answer on your module, kung kasya, or sa paper or notebook, and then post it on our Facebook group. In PE, or Physical Education, we are going to talk about the fundamental skills of our knees, grip, salutation, and basic stance. Fundamental skills in our knees. Number one, grip. Proper hold of the stick. Hold the stick with your four fingers about three to four inches or one fist away from the end, as you can see on the picture. Close the grip with your thumb and the wrist must be flexible. Number two, salutation. For handa, feet are positioned shoulder width apart. Stick is held in front of the body, as you can see on the picture. For pugay, place the weapon hand across the chest and bow by bending at the waist. Please refer to the picture on your module or on the screen. These are the different basic stands in our knees. First is the ready stance. So as you can see on the picture, ganyan yung ready stance. Yung handa. Next is the fighting stance. Next is Forward stance. So, ito yung forward stance ng side view at yung forward stance ng front view. And the last one is the backward stance. So, follow nyo lang yung direction or yung instructions kung paano gagawin yung different basic stances. Our Basic Stance.
Attention! Stand straight holding the baston in front of the body with the feet closed. Two guys salute. Place the weapon hand across the chest. Bow by nodding forward. Ready to perform. Handa, ready. Feet are positioned shoulder width apart. Stick is held in front of the body. Ready to perform. And that's a paglaban, fighting stance. Open legs in a straight position, both knees slightly bent, toes facing forward, weight evenly distributed on both feet. Ready to perform. This is a side view performance. Forward stance. One foot step forward, back leg kept straight, rear foot is held at 45 degree angle. Keep the front knee bent. Weight is evenly distributed on both feet. Ready to perform. This is a side view performance. Backward stance. Distance of 4 steps between the feet. Both knees are slightly bent. Rear foot held at a 90 degree angle. 70% the body weight on the rear foot, while 30% is placed on the front foot, ready to perform. You are now ready to take the performance test. Congratulations! For your activity in PE Week 4, you are going to record yourself while doing the following activities and post it in our... Facebook group PE Week 4. So, kailangan lang makita ko kung paano nyo nagawa ng maayos yung mga activity. Warm up, dynamic stretching, grip, basic stance and salutation, static stretching. So, kung paano yan gawin, nandyan naman yan sa module nyo, sundin nyo na lang yung proper procedure. Pwedeng video or picture. Basta makita ko yung kung paano nyo ginawa yung mga activity. So, after doing that, you're going to rate yourself according dyan sa rating na nakalagay sa module, A, B, or C.